Here's another little clip from the 1980s when Peggy and I were on PM Magazine each week. I'd lock myself out in my nightgown and it was 10 o'clock and I'd have been stuck out there except that I've got a duplicate key in a magnetic container up inside my barbecue. Think of some creative places like under an ordinary rock or with that magnetic container up inside your mailbox or in a small tree. Tie it on your dog's collar if he's mean. My husband, who's a policeman, says that there's some really dumb places to put a key. Under the doormat and under the garbage can. They're too obvious. Don't hide it anywhere near the door. If you have children and they're over eight years old, they can have a key of their own. We let them pick out their own key ring, and then they're more likely to carry it with them. See, with older cars, you could take a coat hanger and go in through here, and I could be in the car like that. But this newer car, it's got electronic locks, and when you're out, you're stuck. So you got to get another magnetic container, and in it, keep your ignition key, a trunk key, and an office key if you've got an office. And then don't hide it in some obvious place, but in a secret place, under the bumper, in the front or the back. And it just stays there. I've had mine for three years and it's never come off in a bumper. Now see why we put the office key in there. If you make it as far as the office and you're locked out, obviously you came in the car. So you can have all three keys together. Now promise yourself that you'll go to the hardware store and you'll have duplicate keys made of your house, your office, and your car. And get a magnetic container and hide the keys. And you'll, you'll never, never be, be locked, locked out, out again. again.